case you're wondering, folks, that's how you rock. That's <laughs> how you do it. Hey, I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar with Lizzie Hale of Hailstorm. Lizzie. Hey, everybody. Hey, you've been on my mind because I've just read some big news about you and Gibson, and it's a huge honor. Do you care to share with the whole class? Uh, yes, I, I have just been uh, announced as uh, the brand new Gibson ambassador, which is just amazing. Like, I, I'm just... I'm shoulder to shoulder with some of the people that I grew up with and that I was influenced by. And right. it's, it's truly, it's kind of a dream come true. And if my 13 year old self <laughs> could see me right, right now, it right. would blow her little mind. Oh, so yeah. it's, it's, it's truly an honor. And uh, um, yeah, it's just, what is life right now? Right? Uh, right, right. God, that is, that's fabulous. And what great company you're in, right? I it, mean, it's pretty think cool. Of like Slash and it's, it's, who else? They, yeah. All the big ones. Slash and, you know, <laughs> there, yeah, there's uh, Jared and Jerry and everybody. It's like, yeah. there's Joan Jett. There's all this. Yeah. It's just, it's amazing. I remember the very first time that the Gibson family approached me um, to make a, uh, just a custom Gibson. I literally had to, like, look back and be like, is is Slash behind me? Like, are you talking to me? You know, it's right. it's, it's really right. cool. It's yeah. really cool. Well, hey, you you totally deserve it. It's a huge honor, and couldn't go to a better person. I'm so happy for you. Oh, thank you so much. I and appreciate it. Speaking of Gibson, so yeah, what's this sexy so, thing? So this guy is my my newest addition to my arsenal, um, and it I keep calling it the Explorer Bird because it has a uh, Firebird headstock, right. but it's the Explorer body, and. Um, you kind of got to watch what you say nowadays, you know, with, with the Gibson right. peeps, because it's like, we'll be at a party or something. It's like, hey, you know what would be cool? And then all of a sudden something shows up my do at my doorstep. So it's it's uh, right. it's pretty amazing. Um, to the point that I, I, I haven't you know, bought a guitar for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> which, the irony. Which, uh, I, now right, that you can afford right? one. Right? It's, it's like, yeah, yeah, that's the way it goes. But, um, but yeah, no, it, like the, it's such an amazing family, and uh, they really care about uh the music and about the players and about yeah. that kind of community vibe so it's it's pretty sweet but uh but this one is great um i just i, I love the fact so because there is the firebird headstock it actually stays in tune really well just because of the length of everything and then yeah. um you know i got some classic 70s pickups which super they just scream so hard God, so you know i use this for more of my Probably most well, we're we're about to get into you know touring now. <laughs> sure. So in my right. mind, I'm like I'm gonna start the set out with this guy. You yeah. know, just start out screaming. So yeah, God, I love it. Yeah. But so, yeah. So is this like a a limited production run or is that a one-off? This, one -off this is this is a one-off. We've been talking about maybe putting it into production, but oh. again, you know, it's like we got to see how everything rolls out and sure in the uh, the the AC after COVID. You know, yeah, versus yeah. the BC before COVID. So. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, well, that is that's fantastic. Okay, let's let's look at the next one. All right, I let's, love that let's do one, it. but I know there's more cool stuff coming down the pike. Let's go. Let's go with. Um, so this is my my custom Gibson Explorer. And now this is your signature. This is my signature model. Yeah. You know. So great. And uh, you know, it's one of those things. So like. You know, oh. see how it, 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 it's a little bit more sizzly? Yeah. Got the classic 57s in that guy. And then um, it's, 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 it's awesome because when they approached me with this, I, w I was a Les Paul girl for a long sure. time. Like my first ever Gibson that I ever saved up and bought was a Les Paul Custom. And so when they approached me with it, I'm like, well, do I do a Les Paul? And then I decided on the Explorer because the great thing about the Explorer is that when you look at it from a distance, you know that like, okay, it's not, it's probably not gonna be country. It's <laughs> yeah, probably not gonna yeah. be pop. There's right. gonna be something happening right. here, yeah. you know? And, um, and the reason I, I chose the, the white and gold aesthetic is because you could see it from the back. And it's totally. just, you know. And it's never been done. I'm a, I mean, it's. I'm a, you know. I'm a classy broad. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. no, obviously, <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, obviously. you gotta go with that. But, but yeah, but, but yeah, it's it's a. Yeah, it's just 
just it it's just it feels like home to me. Oh, that and it's is... so incredibly bombs. And and for for those of you watching that aren't, you know, into the uh, the eight inch heels, it actually <laughs> it's a really good balancing tool. So like I can do the whole flamingo thing. Oh, with perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, it's very dog. impressive to watch you do pedals on those uh, yes. stilts like that. Yes. So how it's did the whole random. process go with this? They approached you about it, and you had to just come up with I had to come up with something and 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 to too much their chagrin so so for those of you who don't know to to make a anything white you know in the warehouse it's actually a difficult process because any kind of dust anything they have a whole separate room for the white because anything that kind of like oh. seeps in from the air will get into the lacquer so at first they were like are you sure you want to do white and I thought about it for a second I'm just like okay do I make this easy on everybody or or do I make it cool? Or do I just <laughs> do what I want to do? So um, they were very willing and, and lovely to be able to do this for me. And um, and it's been absolutely amazing because because uh, we did uh, some custom Gibsons and then we ended up um, going through Epiphone yeah. to make just kind of a more affordable sure. version. And I and just... Th isn't that great? It, that, that a, that a kid with some patience and a job exactly. can buy a professional instrument. Exactly. Yeah. Or some parents can get somebody, you know, their their kid a, a, a guitar for Christmas. And it's been the most fulfilling thing because the most important thing that I was after with this is getting guitars into the hands of little girls or little boys that really want to do that. Right. And, and because I know how much it meant to me to get my first guitar. And, um, and we just heard these amazing statistics, actually. Um, over the past two years, um, there have been more uh, females buying guitars than males over the past, like, two years. So it's like, it's been awesome. And I'm not saying that, you know, I spurred that on, but I'm very grateful to yeah. be a part of it. You part know, it. it's yeah. like, there yeah, you go. Absolutely a part of it, yeah. That's, Cause that's you Because you gotta stand up on there and you gotta be like, okay, this is me, and then, there's such as there's this magical situation when you're a kid and I know you know how this works because you've been in the audience of somebody that you admire yeah. and you're like oh well if they can do it right so can I yeah. and it's just such a beautiful situation to be a part of so yeah, yeah. well that's great and I love the way you even tied in the pearl uh, uh, yes yeah. yes yes well that was no know, accident you know that. it's like you know, it's, the aesthetic. Right? Yeah, so you yeah. gotta have those little things for people like you to talk about. Yeah. Little things little that people things notice. Matter. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's part of the magic of it. Great. Maybe it was those tuners that made you buy the guitar. <laughs> Who knows? So. Well, I love it. I love it. Let's look at the next one. All right. That's fantastic. Let's do it. So this was uh, this is my my second um, custom guitar on Gibson. Yeah, it's like the evil twin to the other one. That's great. There, oh, there we go. So this guy was my uh, my second, and this is actually my OG prototype they made for me. And uh, it's 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 the same same pickups, same everything as the white guy, but we ended up doing uh, a rich light neck, and everything. It just sounds different. It's the the beautiful thing about guitars is that from guitar to guitar, it doesn't matter if it's the same specs, it still sounds different. So yeah, it's isn't like it amazing? yeah, it's same, just beautiful. Same batch made right, right after each other, and they can be totally different. Yeah, it's it's just awesome. <laughs> It's just, it's it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, and like I said, it, it, it feels like home. That's what I like about the Explorer shape. And um, and yeah, again, trying to be classy. Yeah. See those knobs? Look at those Oof, knobs. They yeah. are so classy. I love it. Love it. Okay. okay, let's look at another one. All right. These are all too good. So this guy. Um, so I got, great. I, I got this um, especially made after we made our third record, Into the Wildlife. 
Um, we have a song called I'm the Fire. And, uh, and that song required me, in order for us to pull it off live, it required me to have, um, hold on. Oh, I gotta turn it on, hold on. <laughs> Guys, you're catching me at the rehearsal time. Yeah. So I gotta do. So it's like you go from, so I have, it's standard um, six string, but then I have the baritone down here. So it's standard baritone. And it's funny, so in my, in my teenage mind, when they were asking me about it, they're like, well, do you want us to chamber it so it makes it lighter? And I'm like, no, it's just an SG thing. It's <laughs> gonna be fine. Now it's like, if I have back problems when I'm older, it's because yeah, of this guitar. Right, right. Yeah, totally worth it. It's, it's just, yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's one of those things. And, and also, you know, in a visual aspect. Sure. So now during uh, this next tour that's coming up, uh, Joe, um, our guitar player, my, my partner in crime, in guitar crimes, um, he just as as you saw, he he has another double neck, so he's playing that during this song as well. So oh, yeah, Hell we're trying to get our yeah. bass player in with it. It's like what's a gotta, double neck bass, you gotta, bro? You gotta do it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, yeah, that's great. So this is this is a nice spot, but then I also I also end up using this one in particular for um, for I like it heavy, which is just this. Uh, is kind of bring it up here because you gotta uh, so just so meaty oh, and awesome so yeah it's fantastic. That's great, and I love the. It's kind of like a little homage to Sister Rosetta with that white. Oh, SD. that's very true. Yeah, that's love very that. true. So just one more. <laughs> just one more. Just you gotta get a little, you know, thicker thighs here. You know, <laughs> it's like I, I always, I, 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 and I, and I say that because I, I call all of my, um, I, I call all of my baritones thunder thighs because I feel like you just need a little bit more meat sure. <laughs> in the song. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect. Well, that's the Thunder Thighs. I love it. <laughs> love it. Great guitar. But yeah, and, let's see and, what and, and if you could get your bass player on a double neck bass. Oh, well, that, that's what we've been we've been trying for that for for a little bit. But you yeah. know, considering how heavy this one is, I can't even imagine a double yeah. neck bass. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, to have like a jazz up here. You know, <laughs> maybe you know, P bass down here. It's like I have the whole vision, but oh, you know, yeah. just gotta. Or go, I would go in. SG bass. Those uh, that the, would be really B, cool. What it, SB one or whatever they are. What are you nerds in the comment section? Yeah, will, yeah. You, you can give some suggestions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. Okay, I love so gonna, it. I love it. All and right, what else we got? I here? don't know what else. You, what, what else, else do we got? Have we covered? Oh yeah, no. Wait, hold on. We got one I think more. Got one we more, got right? one more. Right. This dude uh, was my first baritone with Gibson. This one I use for, you know, for I Get Off, for a first single. about the guts in that oh, one, right? Oh, God. 
it's awesome. It's amazing. When you started Built playing up. too, you didn't have any no effects, no drive, and it just was so, huge. So this is part of my theory, and, and this is just coming from, so when I was growing up in music, my dad was a bass player, oh. and he was always a, like a plug in and play guy. Yeah. So when I f first started getting into music, um, one of my first ways I was learning was like through my dad's bass playing, and we got a piano and all this before I ever played guitar. So I always feel like I have a little bit of bass player in me, which is why I love the baritones, because yeah. it's a little bit of happy medium. But um, but yeah, I, I always think that if you can get like the best sound out of your amp, just right. with nothing going on, then everything else is icing. Yeah. But if you're depending, you know, if you're depending on your pedals and you're depending on the distortion or whatever, like I, I, I love having the boost here. Um, you know, uh, you know, we, we were talking a little bit off camera about the Klon that I have here. And so a uh, small story about the Klon. So that was given to me by a fan of ours. Uh, he was hanging out outside the buses. Um, his name is Tim. He wrote his name on the back so I wouldn't forget. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, and basically he said, you know, look, I was a I was in bands throughout the 70s and 80s and 90s. And now I work for you know, I work a corporate job, but I don't have gigs anymore, but I really love this pedal and I hope somebody could give it a good home. So I'm like, absolutely, I'll give it a good home. And then um, we were out on um, doing a couple shows with uh, with Tom Kiefer from Cinderella. Sure. And he had one back in the day. He was like, where'd you get that? <laughs> <laughs> so I could one up Tom Kiefer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's one of those things. I like using the boost, like I have, um, I have a POG pedal here that I do for. Yeah, let's, that's a perfect segue. We can just kind of talk okay, about your, okay. your very modest pedal board. And then I have it kind of set up so that, depending on what song, you can kind yeah. of get that like organ sound. Wow, you it know. really is. You know. God. So that does sound like all the all the draws are out. And, yeah, yeah well, that's great. It's 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 a it's a unique thing with with us and Hailstorm because like we we make these records and we try to put our whole heart into it and we add synths and we add organ and and piano parts and all that. But there's just the four of us on stage. So yeah. part of our joy in uh, like part of the process is trying to figure out how we're going to recreate some of that live. It doesn't have to be, you know, exactly because if you're going to, you know, listen to the record, listen to the record. Sure. But when you come play us live, we're kind of, we, we don't play with any tracks, no trickery, no click, no nothing. We're, Just and, and, four people throwing e down. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we even have, we have a lot of segments now that we started a couple years ago doing uh, like improv sections, like just jam, like, hey, key of A go and uh and which is terrifying yeah, yeah. and like and uh we've talked to a lot of bands but it's like how do you do that it's like well you <laughs> throw yourself head first in the shark tank and you see what's happening man and and yeah. that's that's how that rolls but yeah i love um, that but yeah uh, my favorite tune uh, my favorite pedal on my pedal board is actually the tuner um because gotta have it gotta have it <laughs> running joke with us it's like you gotta have the two yeah. you know so um you know just because yes, you could have all the best pedals in the world but it's like if it doesn't sound good and it's not in tune it's like that's the way it goes but yeah that's a good policy mm -hmm. so you're so you're you're um your signal chain you go for you're using a wireless i'm using a wireless um yeah it i we used we we went chords for years and years and years and the more that like, we started moving around yeah you're rocking yeah exactly um in, in fact even as of recently um or bass player josh and joe like went still to the chord i'm like all right i totally would love to but yeah. we're just gonna start tangling it up and then that's a whole other thing we gotta <laughs> yeah. deal with so so um so we've worked hard to like make sure that my tone is at least as close as it can be to that oh it sounds but, amazing so it's so, okay so you go wireless and mm -hmm. then your first Pedal is that your yeah? Wah? That's the wah, and then we go into oh, tell, hold on, yeah. tell, tell the story oh, on this yes. wah. Yes, yes, yes. So this wah, this is a uh, signature Jerry Cantrell wah, which I was kind of eyeing up online, and I said something on Jerry's socials um, about loving this wah because I got to try it out, you know, and uh, and he's like, oh, I'll send you one, you know. Perfect. But now there's this running joke because um, of course I have my my high heels and so every time I see Jerry um, he automatically he's like hi and lays down on the floor 
because he thinks that I step on him every single night. That's the, which technically <laughs> I do. Yeah. I mean, this is, you know. Yeah. Well, so. And, and you were mentioning earlier, that's ideal for you because there's no like click on. There, there's no click on. So it's as soon as you step on it, it works. Right. And uh, so that's been very helpful to me. Oh, in yeah. My, I mean, in my lady attire. Right, right. <laughs> but I mean, no matter what, it's always kind of awkward turning them on. And, and yeah, uh, well, yeah. yeah, you have to develop the dance. And I know like with certain songs of ours, like there's a lot of that going on. And yeah, um, I've learned a lot about that. Um, as far as that goes so then yeah we have the tuner got the pog i i do have a boost that's that's hooked up into my the aquapus here that just adds a little bit of delay i know i'm on a thing though but yeah. just adds a little sure. bit of sauce you know yeah. to the situation but for the most part uh both you and joe are you're not like a real effects band. It's more just like a good, it's, it's, loud and yeah. Crowd I, we've rock always band. had the belief that if you can't do it with with the sound and the fingers, yeah. it's like if you have to depend on things. Because as we all know, things go wrong. Oh, pedals go out. Always the wires get old. You know, yeah. it's like sometimes there's something with the electricity. Sometimes the power goes out, and then we usually say, "Hey, do, do a drum solo." Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, but yeah, that's that's. That's been kind of our mission statement for a long time because it's it's like like I said it's kind of like building a cake you have to have the foundation right and then whatever you add to it is beautiful sure but yeah sure. you can't build a cake from the top down I mean you can but then you yeah. know it's not going to stand up <laughs> I, I get that analogy that that totally makes sense and the last ingredient your very loud amp that's hidden somewhere yes. back in stage what are you what are you running back so there? i'm doing a jcm 800 um uh the people from marshall were nice enough to actually make me one that actually matches my signature guitar so it's white and gold <sighs> back there um, and it's hidden in back that's it, a crime it, i it know it, it is a crime but it's so loud you get that thing up to oh, three God. you know now the 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 funniest thing that usually happens during our show so we face everything backwards so that we're able to crank it right. you know and get that break up um but a lot of the local hands like to hang out there and it takes them about mm, a song and a half at the right. longest and they're like okay we got to move it oh god <laughs> that's yeah. all they're getting blasted with oh walk yeah. in front of that cabinet it'll knock out a filling yeah, yeah it is <laughs> really really <laughs> loud dentist problems because it'll have <laughs> yeah, yeah. So but, into a 412? Yep. Uh, yeah, 412 cub. And then uh, it, it's just like, it, I, I, there's, I have a romantic relationship with the Marshalls because I, I guess it's the same thing with the Gibsons, right? So you watch your idols play yeah. these instruments and you watch, you see the Marshall stacks and you see the Gibson, you know, in the video and all of that. And so you know we we talk about this a lot in the band too where it's like it's important for you to feel cool when you walk on stage it's like i totally. feel cool with this and yeah. this. i got the amp cranked in the back and and um it's just like a, a a lifelong dream that ends up becoming kind of part of your identity so yeah i've never really wavered you know in in uh, in the beginning um my dad ended up lending me a cab it was just you know just a fender bass cab and i would combine that with like a mesa boogie thing right that just I cobble together afford. whatever you could and then yeah as soon as i i met the marshall guys and they were like yeah come on board i'm like all right let's do this <laughs> you know and so I, I i i i credit marshall and gibson and you know everybody for allowing me to be the rock star that I've always wanted to be. Yeah. So mission accomplished. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, Lizzie, congratulations. So happy for y'all and glad you're out on tour again. Yes, so it's happening. Everybody guys. come see them.
Hey, it's John Bolger with Premier Guitar. Today I'm with Joe Hottinger of Hailstorm. Joe, yes. thanks so much for joining us, man. Thanks for having me, man. It's good to be back. It's good to be back, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, how you been? So, this a little bit of downtime a little bit. when the world took a vacation. Yeah, we, we, all, uh, we all had a vacation, Yeah. whether we wanted it or not. But, you know, we were lucky. We, we finished up our album cycle in December and had yeah. a show in February. And we had a bunch of shows booked last year and into this year, just in festivals and stuff. But yeah. so it was a bummer not yeah. to do those. But, you know, we just focused on making a record. We're still kind of making a record, but we're here rehearsing and playing our first show back uh, in a few days. So oh, it's very fabulous. exciting. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be <laughs> great. Well, you sound fantastic, man. Uh, thanks, man. It, I wish you people listening could hear how <laughs> big this is in the room. Big and crazy loud. Crazy. <laughs> it's a little, it's a, it's a beast. <laughs> it is, It's a bit yeah. of a beast. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Loud and proud. Well, tell me about this very cool SG. Um, you know, my buddy, I, I was kind of looking for a Karina SG for a while, and my buddy was like, dude, there's one in your backyard. He's oh, like, it's really? at Groon's. And uh, so I went over to Groon's guitar and plugged it in and played it, and I was like, okay, you know, it sounds... Sounds amazing acoustic and plugged it in and it was all there, you know. And I'm man, like, oh, man, there's something to that. When you, that, that, that acoustic, like hit a big old chord. Maybe. Yeah, you gotta do the A chord test. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it there, but. Yeah, it just rings. It rings. Yeah, the custom shop made this in 2001 and it's in like perfect condition. I don't know wow. if they had it, but it, they took good care of it and now I'm gonna abuse it on the road. Right, I can't believe that's a 20 year old guitar. Yeah, it's kinda cool. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, it looks beautiful. I love the Karina wood. I mean, you just can't beat it. What's the weight like on that? It's good. It's, it, I mean, it's, SGs are light anyway. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it, it feels typical like my other ones, uh, my other standard. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's beautiful. So as far as you know, all stock? As far as I know, I haven't even taken this off yet to see what these actually are, but it sounds great. So yeah, I feel the need to great. mess with it. And, I'll figure it out one of these days. I wonder if those are burst buckers. <laughs> they th might be. I think so. It, it, think 01? I, that sounds about right. You yeah. know, one of you, uh, one of you guitar nerds in the comments, maybe put down there. Uh, <laughs> Let me <guess>. know. <laughs> I could just unscrew it, but, and I will. <laughs> <laughs> but you all speculate in the meantime. <laughs> yeah, that's great, man. Okay. Yeah, it's a fun one. Well, let's look at, I know you are, a, you are an SG man, so let's look at the next one. Yeah, this, uh, for these next tours, I, I've gone, I went full in on SGs, and really, I, I, I got a lot of them in the last month or two, and I just decided I'm going to play SGs yeah, this time around. Well, it's a really, I mean, it's a great fit, man. Oh, you, it's you awesome. You sound great on it. You know, you, you think about, like, hard rock, and there's, like, three shapes right. that, like, match the music the yeah. explorer the v and the sg and yeah. and lizzie has her signature explorer so yeah. i was like i've got a few sgs already and i've got a few v's i was going to do the sgv tour but <laughs> also now i was like wait i got way too many they, all these awesome ones kept popping up so i just i'm sticking with it um this one this one i got right before the pandemic started oh man it's a you know Wow. It's a double neck, God, 12 and I 6. It. It's in Brunswick blue. Ooh, so it's wow. It's like a bass boat, but bowling ball bass boat. Yeah. It's purdy. God, I love it. But I wanted something that wasn't the red one, the white one, or the sure. or the uh, black one, because, you know, they're all those are all classic double necks. And yeah. Just get something a little weird. I've never seen this one before. I guess they made like six of them wow. uh, a few years ago. Something like that. Maybe it was 11. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful. My buddy Tony at Guitar Center. He oh always, sure. He's always like he, he's like a crack dealer. He just yeah. sends me pictures. I'm like, get yeah. out of here. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Cut it out. Yeah. But uh, he uh, he like helped design this with the color and the. I think it's a burst bucker one and two and a two and three oh, here. Oh okay. Does that sound right? Sounds right. Yeah, sounds right to me. Um, He's probably, if he sees this, he's like, no. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, sounds great. And uh, it's fun to play a double neck on stage. You know, you immediately just. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Know, you, you, there's only a few moves you can do. And Jimmy Page, I think, did them all to begin with. So <laughs> just like, well, that's, that's what that yeah. looks like. So are you using the 12 on, a, on the new album? The... Um, I think I've used it. Yeah. 
I don't remember. I know I used it on a bunch of the demos, and we're still in the middle of recording, so if I haven't yet, I will. Yeah. I have. Yeah. It's going to be in this tour at the very yeah. least. So. I'm playing it live. Yeah. Um, this yeah, is a fun one. This is my OG SG. This is a guitar I got when I joined Hailstorm oh, in 2003. Great. Yeah, and it's, I mean, pickups have died. Knob, you know, we'll come back from Europe and all the knobs are gone. You're like, yeah. How, how, what void did they fall into? <laughs> so it's just a constant state of work, but it still feels like home. Just, yeah. You know, it's, the, it's been in every club that I've ever been in. It's, you know, Old Faithful. I think these are burst buckers that we got. I think we just... We got them in Europe last time we were there because it just died. Oh. The pickups died, and Gibson sent out. They're like, "We got some burst buckers." I'm like, That'll do. Perfect. Yeah, that's great. That'll do. So, did you? It, what year is that? Do you know? 2003. I did, bought it new the year I joined. Oh, that's great. The year I met Lizzie, I had like a Tele and this like Mesa Rectoverb because yeah. I was way into Jeff Buckley, yeah. <laughs> like way into it, <laughs> and uh, joined the Hailstormers. I was like. I'm gonna need a rock and roll guitar. Yeah, <laughs> like, right, right. <laughs> and yeah. uh, so I sold my Tele and the Mesa, and I got this, and I think an 800, and that's that's all you need God, to make yeah. rock and roll. This is a fun one. Um, Cesar from from Gibson turned me onto this. He knew I was uh, looking at SGs, and he showed me this reverb listing, and it's a 2010 Custom Shop 61 reissue, and. Uh, the color is what's so crazy about oh. it. It's white silver burst. And I asked my buddy at Custom Shop, I was like, what's the, like, what's the actual color? Cause like, is that yeah. really what it's called? And he was like, yeah, that's it. I guess they just made a few. This was made for uh, uh, Bizarre Guitar in Reno. What's that guy's name? Uh, Golden. Yeah, um, Greg. Greg at Bizarre. And I guess 2010 they sold it. I don't know to who, but it's mine now. And I love the color, the God, white, the silver. It so cool this guitar this head i don't i don't know what's in this either but it's really uh clean sounding uh i use it for like just standard clean you know it's very yeah. just rock and roll like it's it just has the right bite oh, it sounds insane it's so cool so much different than all the other sgs and uh do you ever use uh use that you get a little spite yeah yeah put a little <laughs> Marble <laughs> in it. Yeah, that's great. It stays in tune great. I have friends that are like, oh, great, that'll never stay in tune. And I mean, you I'll, I'll we, bash on it. Come and, on, uh, let's, let's hear that song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite so far. <laughs> yeah, God, that's great. Isn't it wild how Party. you can have the same same model, yeah. basic ingredients are the same, and they sound so different. It's great. It's, yeah. you know, that's what I like about them. Yeah, uh, so they're magic. They're all neat pieces of wood. Right. This, uh, another Tony Higby special, um, he designed these. It's a 59 neck on this three, three custom bucker. Mm. It's, it's, just a, it's just a monster. It sounds so big. And, it's got to be the neck like it sounds so much bigger and fatter than all the other it sounds more like a les paul you know and really and i swear having this big fat neck yeah has something to do with it i mean it, it all everything affects everything but now the pick I've, I've never really understood what they're doing with the pickup controls on, on so like you know I, frampton does his thing where he switches three of them to volume so he can kind of yeah pick the pickup this one is more like uh like uh, Tony was telling me, like what Brad Whitford did in some of the, his early three pickup things, or 
you got your uh, bridge pickup in the middle is both of these okay which is really cool sounding and yeah then your neck down there and then your standard just volumes and tones but yeah it rips and it's so you know it's i like playing it because it's it's you know you're missing the gap and i'm so right. used to the gap and it's so hard with that third it's not hard it's just different and yeah that's what's fun like it, I, I tighten up a little bit or, or i'll move up here to do things and into the, into that gap and De there's definitely like the a an adjustment you got to make otherwise you're like hitting that which is great pickup yeah Keeps it is it fresh great. you're right it, it's different guitars bring different stuff out of you and i was i was looking at this one and another like this uh there's like a 61 reissue i liked it because of the color and then i plugged them both in and this thing just like ate it alive huh. and i was like oh my god you can't not you just had I had to go with it you know? yeah so when you're SG Quest. when you're test driving in a like guitar store, yeah, do you like bring it up to volume? Do you how much? Uh, yeah, you gotta. Yeah, you gotta. I mean, like, uh, what's the closest thing you have to a plexi? You know, yeah. and, <laughs> and you start acoustic, just yeah, just get see yeah. what the ring is like, and can you feel it down here? You know, what's the vibration like? Right. And and uh, my favorite part is the stinger. Ooh, love the stinger. Stingers are always. Great on the Gibsons. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. a monster. Okay, I love it. Monster. More SGs. The SG yes. Madness. <laughs> this I affectionately call Lugs. This uh, this was actually given to me by a uh, a fan, a friend. Really? And what a sweet guy he is, and he knows I like green guitars and. God. And uh, I didn't, you know, he just kind of. He was sweet. He gave it to me, and he was like, "Don't, don't tell anyone, please. I don't want anyone to <laughs> think that I'm like trying to buy my way into something." I just his reasoning was that he loves the art that we make, and he wants us to keep making it and be inspired. And I was, I was like, "Well, that's sweet, man. That is that was, beautiful, man. That's very kind of him." And I think it's so cool with the custom blocks and the bound neck and the oh, I, yeah, that custom headstock, the custom headstock, and, and ebony fingerboard, right? Yeah, and it sounds so good. Okay, let's. Let's do a taste test. I want to hear yeah, what that. This has the custom buckers too, which I love. Their custom buckers. Creamy is that neck pick. Oh, I know right? the neck is ridiculous. <laughs> God, it's fun. Okay, all love right. it, love it. There's not a single dog. I know they're <laughs> they're they're all they're all winners. Yeah, that's great. So we we have some lower tunings, and I always have to have a baritone out with me. And I just got I didn't realize I didn't I never knew there was an SG baritone until yeah. whatever. I just you start thinking about things and googling them. And uh, what year did they make this? Two, three, four, five, to 2013, wow. um, they made these. And is that body bigger than a normal SG, or is it I, just my imagination? You know what? That's a Let's do great a question. Taste yeah. Okay, audience, uh, you be the judge. Yeah. <laughs> look, hey, Let's oh, see towards yeah. the camera. Can you can you tell? Uh, I think it's yes. bigger. Yeah. It's bigger. It is bigger. Okay. And it's a 24 Mystery fret. Saw. Yeah. Good good eye sniper. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it's the 24 fret, which really screws me up when you yeah, go for something right. like, oh, God, yeah, wait a <laughs> where minute. am I again? That's not a D. <laughs> but, it's, but it's neat. It's coil tap on oh, both cool. pickups, which actually. And I love those I cream, cream yeah. humbuckers. They put the uh, white on there and the white knobs, and they yeah. really just whited it out. And yeah, sexy. Let's hear that Sounds great. Thing. Big low beast. Yeah. Is it down to B? Is that where you're uh, Drop B. Bunch of songs from the new record in drop C, so oh. I think it's going to be my drop C guy. Yeah. I'll bring out some other baritones for other things. <laughs> 
Tap is sick though, it really. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's amazing that coil tap, it doesn't feel like you're losing much volume, but it seems no, it just cut better. Yeah, it just yeah. dial like it laser beams yeah it's almost like a it's almost like a mm. low filter or something yeah, that takes cool. out yeah that's great man yeah, baritone okay In love the SG it tradition love it all right and last but not least and i'm sure there'll be more sgs in my future but this <laughs> yeah. fun guy last but not least for today for today <laughs> this i got in a trade from a guy that works at gibson um it's a funny story actually i bought this bogner and it was like, must have been one of the first 10 or 20 Bogners that uh, Bogner made because it oh. was a 76 Marshall. Wow. And it, the Marshall was off and it was like one of the first name plates he had put yeah. on there. And it yeah. sounded awesome. It was like his first, some of his first mods. And I was using it for a bit, but then I started, I went back to my Marshalls and it was just kind of sitting, found out the guy, this guy that works at Gibson, he had that made. He talked to Jerry Kentrell at some meet and greet. He was like, why does your Marshall sound like that? And Jerry told him about Bogner. And so he got a hold of him. The guy did the mod. Wow. And he was like, man, I, I sold that like 20 years ago and I was going to buy it back, but it sold too quick and I haven't seen it. And I heard you had it. And he's like, I'll try to do whatever. Let me know. And I wasn't using it. And I felt, I was like, yeah, I'll trade. You know, it's yeah. your, it's yours. You had it made. You birthed it. So yeah. uh, this is one of the things I got in the trade this 50th anniversary. That's great. And that's cool. SG. That's like putting putting a deposit in the karma bank. Yeah. When you give the guy back the gear that yeah, he yeah. is his. Yeah. yeah, it was, he had, yeah, it was his. Yeah. But that guy knew his guitars and I traded for a few guitars and this is one of them. And this thing sounds so cool. Oh yeah, I love the, P90s. the P90s. So are those P90s. proper P90s or are they the the, the stacked or? Uh, no, they're regular P90s yeah. as far as I know. Yeah, well let's hear this. You know, I, when I got this, I, I loaned it to my friend Tish, the 90s. 90s. I loaned it to my friend Tish and Dead Deads, and I just got it back a few weeks ago, and uh, and I love it. I've yeah. been using it in rehearsal. And <laughs> Tight. I love it. You know, the wraparound bridge. Yeah. Sounds great. Killer. I so killer. love it. Yeah. Hey, what strings do you uh, normally run? Ernie Ball Paradigms, the oh. 10 to 52s. 10 to 50. Oh, it's yeah. that beefy bottom. A little heavier hand. bottom and slinkier top. Yeah. Yeah, they've been killed. Those new paradigms they make are awesome. That's great. You can tell, you, like, you look at them where they're wound at the bottom around there. It's just, you can tell when it's done right. You know, it's yeah. done right. They're, they put the time in. It's Ernie Ball. They, yeah. They've been around a while. Yeah, they know what they're doing. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Yeah. Okay, I love it. I love it, and uh, and then for the softer side of things, for the the only non-SG coming out this time, yeah, is this Chet Atkins. God, I love that man. I what know a they're great so cool. Finish. So apparently, according to the guy at the shop, this is this is 1999, and apparently it's the only custom shop um, SST they ever made. Yeah. And. Uh, it's so cool. It sounds great. And it's got the abalone inlay. Oh, I love it. And um, it used to belong to the artist. 
the Nat NASCARs artist or whatever, he would do uh, art things for them. And he, he yeah. did like the Dale Earnhardt Les Paul and the oh, okay. Richard Petty oh, Les okay. Paul that they put out at some point. But he had a collection of the guitars and when he passed away, this guy got a hold of him and he had this in there. And I guess it, it was used by Travis Tritt at some point oh. uh, at a NASCAR thing because he signed the back. Yeah, okay. And I was like, okay, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, that, yeah, that's cool, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's part of the yeah. guitar story. He's like, you want me to wipe it off? And I was like, yeah. No, it's part yeah, of the, cool. it's part of this guy's story. We'll yeah. see how long it lasts out on the road. Yeah, but uh, do yeah. you run that into a DI? Yeah, anything on it, just straight in and well, they add right now it's later. been straight in. We just started rehearsing with this one, and I have this little Fishman preamp that I'm yeah. gonna experiment with today that I haven't had a chance to yet. So we'll yeah. see. Very cool. You can hear. Sounds oh, yeah. great acoustic. And that, those are really good electronics. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's been fun to play actually. Just sure. everything can stay loud and it doesn't go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it kind of fits the whole aesthetic too. Yeah. It's, that's cool. It's fun. Okay. Well, okay. that's great. Love, I love them all. Now, let's Guitars. talk about your amps and then get into pedals after that. Okay. So, what are you running back here? Um, when we do like the festivals and arena shows, I'll use Big Red and Big Perp. Um, yeah. It's a 71 it. and a 73. I got them both here in town, and uh, they're, they're, they just, they're just—they're devastatingly loud. And yeah. The bane of all—I—I I run my main cabinet is facing backwards, and just pisses off everybody at yeah, every right. venue. Right. And I—and I love it because in a world of Kempers at all the festivals nowadays, it's yeah. really fun to just. Oh yeah. Wow. And move some air. And, oh yeah. And I—I I kept going through speakers, so we ended up getting. No, what what are the speakers we have? Bema, the, E Y M A. It's a company in Spain that makes a clone of the old JBL E120s. So, so Bema. Bema speakers, the Spanish company makes these uh, JBL120 clones, and what are they? 200 watts each. Uh, yeah, 150 maybe. 150 watts. 150 yeah. Watts. 150 watts each or something. I don't know. Big heavy so magnets. Yeah, they're about. Oh, for, God. Yeah, and you're running four of them? Yeah, four. Oh my four God. They're like 40 to 50 pounds a piece. And okay, so what does that cabinet weigh? I mean, it's got a. What it, maybe not that much a piece, but it's, it's, those cabinets are like at least a buck 80. It's a grown man without uh, the road case. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you ever move your. Do you I, ever move that thing? <laughs> I've never lifted it. Um, I, <laughs> but uh, but no poor Noah does. <laughs> And uh, it, no, it uh, you know it just sounds amazing. There's it's just clear as a bell when you want it to kind be. Of, and so is it. So it's a it's a Marshall 412 straight. No, it's a Bogner. Oh, Bogner 412. Yeah. Straight. Okay. Um, with a, with the reason I got those, like I when I bought the Marshall, I tried it out through this Bogner cabinet, and I was like, well, that sounds amazing, just like that. And yeah. he was like, we can get Bog Bogner make you some red ones just like that. I was like, let's do it. And so were you okay when you first got with Hailstorm and you traded in the telly uh, and you got a marsh your first marshal yeah. it wasn't one of those was no, it? No, no, it was a like a I remember we uh I forget what marshal I had when we start when we were playing clubs. I I know when we got signed I said I got like a thousand bucks. I was like yeah. oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. One thousand dollars. And yeah. uh, and I bought I found a like a 19, an 80s JCM 800 on eBay, and the guy sent it to me. It was like 700 bucks. Perfect. Like killer deal, and yeah. I still have it. It's my, my old yeah. 800, and that's uh, that was my amp for years and years. And yeah. then, then I started getting into the Plexi land, and yeah. Lizzie, Lizzie takes care of the 800s now, so she's. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 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 It's a good match. Do you ever worry about vintage amps, about like just them? That's why you've got the backups, that's right? why I got. Big perp, yeah. yeah. No, I remember the first time I got Big Red. We went. I think we were in Canada, and it, it made it three songs in the first show. And I was like, son of a. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. But yeah, the um, these other little Marshalls. These are, these are the new uh, twenty watt stu uh, Plexi Studios. Sure, yeah. they sound great. They're amazing. I yeah. tried them out. We played Download, and I tried them out, and I was like, I was like, those are you know. I kept thinking about it, and the next time we went to Europe, I just bought two of those for Europe, and yeah. I bought two for here. Like we're gonna play at a club, a small club on Friday, and I'm bringing. I can't take big no. red; it would devastate in there. So no, I, 
the ultimate backup. I, I know backup. the club you're you're playing yeah. in. It would fall. The club would fall down. No, if you had, if you had not that. again. Yeah, yeah. If you had that rig. Yeah, the, the structural uh, damage. Would be yeah, bad. that would be bad. So yeah, we'll bring the little guys to the club, and then we head to a festival up in Minnesota, and the big boys will be on the truck. Killer. Hey, well, let's uh, grab whichever SG and let's hear some of these pedals. Oh, We've heard a bit of them, but let's kind of go through the whole enchilada. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and I like, you're a cable guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I, I tried wireless at rehearsal and it does something to the fuzz pedals and it, 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 you can't, it made them unusable. And I was like, well, no, that's the sound I want to use. <laughs> yeah. So whatever, no, no wireless for me and I'm okay with it. Yeah. I don't need it. So you start with a big cable. Yep. Uh, and go into my wah and volume. Both of them are exotic. So okay. This is the exotic volume and uh, their wah is great. I put one on my backup board too, just goes. Now, it's it got all those things on the side. Did it take you a while to dial it in, or was it pretty yeah, much there? Yeah, I, I think I, I think I have them just at you know, whatever the middle is, yeah. like, just straight across, and it sounds great. Yeah, I sometimes when they have too them. much options, you yeah. can, like, dial yourself just, out of a tone. No, I was sitting there just, I was like, whatever, leave them in the middle. It yeah. sounds great. Yeah, it sounds That's great. That's what I like. So that goes into um, the funny tuner with no, I just always have that on. And I, Yeah, I love that. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't do it so much anymore, but for so a bunch of years, I just leave the tuner on just so I can like I'm soloing. Or, yeah. Like, how's sure. my, how's my band in my? <laughs> yeah. I don't have perfect pitch, so I'm like. No, I, I totally like, get just, it. Just looking. So you run the tuner out into that little yeah. guy, and then. But one of the, these are the, some of the, the coolest pedals I've gotten in the last year. Um, Trufi pedals, dude up in Maine, he makes these, and. Um, the color driver is awesome. Okay, and so the first one is this. Is the Octavia, Octavia Fuzz. Octavia, yeah. That's, that's, So great. No, it's it's awesome. So and very Hendrix. Yeah, yeah. super Hendrixy, and I like to run that with a uh, with the, this Bogner Lagrange pedal. God, that, that I'm thing sounds using great. as an overdrive. Yeah, like put them on together. <laughs> Just straight, straight amp, you know. And it's got a boost, which is super cool. Yeah. That's you know? great. So if you like, that's my other I solo with the Octavia or just. I use that boost on the just the clean just yeah that's great yeah. love it um so that's a nice little swiss army knife yeah very cool and so next is the the color driver that uh, another true five pedal so it has the cool thing it has this master volume sounds it makes. God. 
which is massive. Huge, man. Yeah. Okay, I love it. Um, when I want to color up my clean sounds or even some solo tones, uh, this little Robert Keeley, is that it? Yeah, that's that's Keeley. It's a 30 millisecond double tracker. I yeah. just saw that somewhere and it's got this cool uh, Abbey, Abbey Road mode or something. Ooh, but let's hear that. it on this dimension thing and it's uh sounds good rocking too It's kind of like a flange, kind yeah, of like a whatever. Warps it and colors it, and Keeley does such great weird stuff. I, yeah, I, I dig everything he makes. That's great. Um, I also have an afterneath here from uh, Earthquaker. Oh yeah. Okay. So what's which that? Are just, just like a verb, verbed out, just. Stay in the back a little bit and sure. just create some shimmery things back there. Yeah, I love it. The spacey ethereal kind of thing. And uh, of course the pog. Sure. Yeah, we, uh, we've been using this a bunch on the new record. Just this sound in particular, just like a... Just like... It, it's subtle, but it's just adding a little lower octave and yeah. beefing up. The... God, that's killer. great. And then uh, I got another one for uh, just doing, what do, I use this on like a uh, apocalyptic. Uh. Like. Yeah, that's great. Lock to be sounds. Yeah, I love it. And if you ever need a delay, of course, the Strymon. Yeah. You can't. And you, 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 you don't use a lot of delay. You're, not, not too much. Yeah. Sometimes, I don't know. We, yeah. we do a lot of improv. Like, we just, imp jam we just go and sometimes. Like a proper rock band well, yeah, should. Just that's living. <laughs> yes. When, yeah. When you jump off the cliff in front of a bunch of people and you don't know where you're going to land, that's, yeah. it's awesome. <laughs> That's yeah, the feeling, you know, yeah. that's the drug to me. Yeah. You can sit there and play the same songs every night and do the same thing, but I don't know, if you're playing live music, you gotta ch take some chances. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> and make some mistakes and crash hard. <laughs> right, and right. learn from it. And, but sometimes, you know, I don't know, if we're starting to get out there and I'm starting to go to Berkeley. And yeah. <laughs> just like, just, I don't even know what delay it's on half the time. I just did it and tap it just a little. Randomly, just randomly, yeah, yeah. Let, let it rip. Just stomp on everything. Let's go, oh, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, and powering it with this Strymon yep. power. Yeah. You can take that overseas. You can, it's got the, uh, oh, Tyler yeah. Bryant turned me on to that. And uh, he was just telling me that it's got the, Whatever in it, so it can take the overseas power, which I can't remember any details anymore because I stayed home for too long. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's kind of killer, though, man. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Well, man, congrats! Great seeing you again. So good to yeah, see you, I'm glad you guys Thanks are for back. Thanks for taking the time. Out. Oh yeah, glad you're out rocking it. <laughs> yes, cheers. <laughs>